Hi, I'm Gregory Paolini, and today I'm going to show you how easy and efficient it is to cut a mortise with a plunge router. So stick around. I cut a lot of mortises with the plunge router. It's a super versatile and efficient tool for the task. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this using a plunge router equipped with an edge guide. Before I do any adjusting, I want to make sure that my router is unplugged. On this particular router, I can actually remove the power cord, guaranteeing it's safe. I'm starting off with a plunge router. This one has plenty of power for the task and it's equipped with a quarter inch upcut spiral router bit and an edge guide. I'm going to start by zeroing the router and setting depth of cut. In this case, I'm cutting 19 millimeter deep mortises. If you want a refresher on zeroing a router and setting depth of cut, I've created a video specifically on that topic. Just do a quick search. Now I'm going to position my router using the edge guide. I've got the piece I'm going to cut secured to the bench top. And for a little extra support, I'm going to use one of my other table legs to keep the router from tipping. Simply slide the router on the edge guide until the bit lines up with the layout lines. You can always do a little micro adjusting to sneak up on perfect alignment. Now lock the edge guide in place. Now this router is completely set up to make the cut, but before I do any routing, I'm going to install dust extraction, plug the router in, and I'm going to put on proper safety gear. Whenever I'm using a router, it's critical that I use proper safety gear, hearing protection and eye protection. To start, I line up the bit with the end of the mortise and make a full depth plunge. Then I go to the other end of the mortise and make another full depth plunge. This outlines the start and stop point for my mortise. It's a lot like outlining a picture in a coloring book before filling in with crayon. Um, except in woodworking terms. Now it's time to begin removing the bulk of the material. I don't want to do this in one pass. It would be too much stress and strain on the bit, and it could break, so I adjust the turret to its highest point, exposing only a portion of the bit, and make a single pass. I listen to the bit. When I get to the end of the mortise, which I outlined earlier, the cutting noise subsides. I know I'm done with this pass. Next, I adjust the turret to the middle step, which allows me to plunge a little deeper, and make a second pass. Finally, I adjust the turret to the lowest step and make my final pass. Before I move on, I'll do a quick inspection of my mortising. The walls of the mortise should be smooth, in the same plane, and there should be no stepping marks on the mortise wall. This one is just about perfect. To show you how efficient cutting mortises with a plunge router can be, here's the process over again, at normal speed and unedited. That's how simple it is to cut a mortise with a plunge router. Be sure to join me again for more router tips and techniques. 